Well, I don't think we got into the next billion yet. So I, I wouldn't put that as a past tense question. Uh, I think we have a ways to go before we get to the last billion. But one of the things that's happening is technology is allowing people to leapfrog some of the infrastructure that used to be required in order to get to even the next billion. So you see the spread of mobile phones in India is just going like gangbusters. You see a lot of community-based uh, resources that are now being deployed in parts of Africa, which is not giving you all of the benefits of the technology in your home and at your fingertips, but is going to where there is power and where there are resources available and in a community-based way, allowing people to participate of these resources. You're also seeing the knowledge diffused even when the people don't have sophisticated technology. So you don't need a smartphone actually to start getting information about what the soil in your farm is doing, what the rainfall is going to look like, what the water level is going to be in the river next year, and all these other issues which are tremendously important to improving your life. So we have to understand that even though technology is at the cutting edge and we have all of this big data, internet of things, cloud computing, all of that can actually be leveraged to deal with people who have a very small window into technology that is completely unsophisticated because what is important to them is not necessarily the technology, but the knowledge that is derived from it.